Praise the Lord, Purpose of Life Church family. Let me tell you, Pastor Green misses each and every one of you. It is totally different being in a virtual environment, and I can't wait until we get back together. We've got a reopening committee. We're doing some work. So hopefully real soon, we're going to be able to get back together, see one another, and encourage one another. And even in the midst of this pandemic, don't forget to check on one another. Let's stay connected, even though we have to stay connected virtually. Pick up a phone call. Call somebody. Encourage them. A lot is going on, and the reality is we need each other. God made us for relationships, and we need each other. Let's stay connected. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you real soon. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. That was a message from our pastor, Pastor David W. Green Sr. And he's just sharing how much he misses the people of Purpose of Life. And on today, we are uh, pleased to be celebrating, celebrating the life of the one Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And as we look at our devotion on today for Celebrate Recovery, um, it's entitled Small Changes. And I can just reflect over the life of the Reverend King and all that he tried to accomplish, all that he stood for, all that he was wanting to see happen uh, for his people. And even though he was wanting to see some big changes, large changes, changes of magnitude, he understood that we must first embrace the small changes. So for today, once again, our title is called Small Changes. And our scripture for uh, today's devotional, it's coming from Ephesians chapter number four, verses 22 through 24. Ephesians chapter number four, verses 22 through 24. And it's there that it says that in reference to your former way of life, you are to rid yourselves of the old self, which is being corrupted in accordance with the lust of deceit. And that you are to be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put on the new self, which in the likeness of God has been created in righteousness and holiness of the truth. So once again, our faith scripture that we read was Ephesians chapter number four verses 22 through 24 and it is a reminder it's a reminder that we are to change that we should expect change that we should ask God for change but however what happens is we bite off more than we can chew if you will when it comes to change we try to change too much in too short of a time and then we get frustrated we ask god god why are you not making the changes in my life that i know that i need i know you know that i need and you hit a wall well the lord wants to help us on today he wants to help us avoid hitting walls he wants to help us avoid getting frustrated. He wants to help us, and that is in the order of understanding that small change is good. 
author today, John Baker. He is sharing in this devotional. He's sharing from his heart. He's sharing one of the um, issues that he had in his own uh, recovery, in his own uh, 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 trying to get to a life of sobriety. He expresses that change was difficult for him for that very reason. He was expecting big change all at once. And it was a mentor of him that he shares that uh, helped him to understand by telling him that you can't just expect change all at once. And he gave him some examples. You know, if you're going to shave your face, you have to shave one side before uh, you shave the other before you have a completely shaven face that you must go your right to your left. He talked about just putting on your pants, getting dressed, that you have to put on one leg at a time. His point being that you have to understand that there is steps to change and that making small changes can get you ultimately it can get you ultimately to the larger change that you're trying to achieve. Our author was honest and said change wasn't easy for him. For many of us, change is not easy. We know we need it, but we struggle with change. But what we have to recognize is the positive results that we can witness through our change. If we want God to groom us, if we want God to grow us, we have to be receptive to change. Now, I mentioned earlier that sometimes we bite off too much that we can chew. And here's what I mean by that. Uh, we hit brick walls. We try to take on too much. And I'll use this example. Uh, many of us, we will say that uh, we believe in prayer and fasting. We believe in studying our word. But when it comes to something as fasting, we will say, I'm going to, at the beginning of 2021, I'm just going to go on a 40-day fast and I'm going to forsake all food and I've never fasted before, but this is what I'm going to do. Well, to encourage you for your fast, because fasting is good. But to encourage you, I would say, don't just jump in and say, for my first fast, I'm going to do this 40-day fast and I'm going to forego eating. We first would encourage you by saying, because fasting is a way of uh, taking those fleshly desires, those uh, lustly things that our scripture talked about on today, taking those and giving them to God that maybe you should first ask God, God, here is one area of my life. Here's one area of my life that I need to fast from. Here's one area of my life that I need your strength from. And God, help me in this area. Instead of asking for a wholesale change all at once, ask God to work on this area. It could be the area of cussing. It could be the area of eating. It could be the area of uh, maybe it could be sobriety. But whatever the area is, ask God for small victories, small changes. And then in the end, as you see those changes day by day, ultimately, the overall, the large, the change that you've been looking for, you will see that come to pass. Fasting is good. Change is good. But to avoid those walls, to avoid those walls, and once we hit those walls, many times we hit them and we give up. To avoid those walls, just ask God to work in certain areas of your life. A small change. That will help us. It will help us avoid those walls. 
because the Lord wants you to be successful in your change, but allow your changes to be small changes. Once again, many of us are like our author today. We don't like change. We want change, but we don't like to change ourselves. See, we want everybody else to change, and we think that is what is going to help us. We need to change day by day, small changes at a time, and then thank God for those changes. That's what we need to do. Small victories are better than no victories at all. Let me say that again. Small victories are better than no victories at all. When we hit walls, we get no chance to celebrate a victory. Let's celebrate the small victories. Let's celebrate the small changes. Let's watch God move in our lives. Because he wants, he wants to do just that. He wants to move in your life. He wants to see you change. He wants to be there. He wants to give you strength through the changes. It's one day at a time. Small changes. And we can be victorious. Don't fight the change. Know what God has for us is what is best for us. So I want to encourage you today. As we go to God in prayer, be encouraged. Be encouraged by knowing that what he will do is he will usher in change. If we just ask God to, God, just give me the tools. Give me the understanding. Give me the wisdom. Lord, give me the strength to endure the change. Give me the strength. God will give you the strength. I can guarantee you that. I've seen it in my own life. I've witnessed it for myself. I've asked him for change. And I've seen him do it. And I know if he can do it for me, absolutely, I know he can do it for you. I'm not telling you what I heard. I'm telling you about what I know. I'm not telling you about what somebody told me about and I've got a witness. And I know I'm not the only one. Many of us can share in our witness. Many of us can speak to just that. That God has kept us. That we need a change in our lives. And God did it. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us just to share that with somebody else. Share that with somebody else. As we are changing, as we have witnessed God's change in our lives, we can too share that with somebody else. So as we go to God in prayer today, we're going to be praying for change. We're going to be praying that we are receptive to change. We're going to be praying that those walls that we have continued to hit, that we're not hitting those anymore. Let us pray. Father God, Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord. We thank you for being the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, we believe that everything that we need, that it comes from you. Lord, we just come speaking in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you usher in your presence in our lives. Lord, we have so much external outside influences lord but we need to discard the outside influence and lord let us just embrace and bring more of you your presence your will for our lives lord let us embrace the small changes lord let us embrace what it is that you're trying to do in our lives lord many of us we have hit so many walls that we are discouraged We've given up. We've thrown in the towel. But Lord, we come speaking right now in the name of Jesus. That the walls must come tumbling down. That Lord, we are going to be 
and we were going to be encouraged by the changes that you're making and by the closeness that we are coming to you. Lord, we are just going to be overflowing with joy because we're seeing that you are moving in our lives. We are seeing positive change. And Lord, we know that it's only because of your might and your strength. Lord, we say, have your way in our lives. Lord, we know that your way is the way in which we need to follow the path that we need to go by. So, Father God, Lord, once again, we say, have your way. Lord, we pray as we go forth on this day, Lord, that we will just be looking for the change that you are wanting to make. And, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we will celebrate every small victory. Because, once again, we know that small victories are better than no victory at all. So we come speaking it right now in the name of Jesus. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Well, everyone, I hope you have a blessed day. And we do want to share with you that on tonight, Pastor Green is going to be part of a panel for the Walker Building Legacy Center. They're going to be celebrating the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King and his dreams. They're going to be talking about where we are today and our pastor pastor david w green senior is going to be a part of that so that's going to be via zoom and if you want to register for that you can go to the walker legacy building uh, just search that in your google or in your edge or whatever uh, search engine that you're using and then you can sign up for that and that begins tonight at 5 30. So we invite you to be part of that as we know our pastor is involved in doing great things in the community and we want to be there to support him. So once again, everyone, change is possible. Embrace the small changes. Be blessed. Say in 2021, I want to hear his voice. I want to hear him speak to us. I'm not talking about waiting till you in a situation that don't look good.